Welcome back everyone to the Mac Team Builder Dynasty. We have Bowl Week action here today. We have a lot of Bowl Weeks and I'm gonna go back to the well and I tried and true joke that we've used throughout the series, none of which involve us. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. You're still winless. I've got my two wins against you. It sucks. We're not featured in this video, sadly, but we're gonna kick things off at the Quick Lane Bowl. Not the Motor City Bowl, not the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. The Quick Lane Bowl. A 6-6 six and six Indiana team against an Alpena team that was probably going to make the college football playoffs. So you would think Alpena should roll in this one, but I'm just getting the vibe here from you know Michael Penix and company. This is probably like that spunky 6-6 six and six team that was better than the record that like played all the good teams of the Big Ten super close. So it might be a challenge. I don't know. Alpena might be coming in in the dumps. What do you think here? Well, they did lose to Ohio Western in the MAC championship game and three losses total. So we have been documenting Alpina's performance all season long, and we've been thinking that is Kevin Gransky the guy? In big games, he doesn't really show up, but in games that he knows he should win, he does. And they're going to really need to utilize this man here, Calypso Berryhill, with a nice run to the right side with the option play. First and 10 here, Gransky going to fire to the end zone. Touchdown, that's a really good throw. That might be a sign of things to come in this game. Maybe he's shaking off the rust, I guess, against big teams. Yeah, let's go. Let's go Alpacas. You guys know I'm in the tank for the Alpacas. What am, I gonna, what am I going to get that file for the dancing alpaca? Oh, Everybody's I, been are talking. Asking. People are asking. They are. They, they love that thing. It'll come back. It'll come back next year. You know, the... Alpaca understands that this is nothing to celebrate here. <laughs> the Quick Lane Bowl, uh, he's got his sights set up higher. 10-10 oh, right now. That's what great, happened there? That's a great play. Great play by the cornerback to hang with the wide receiver. Field goal attempt here for Alpina in a 10-10 ball game. And the field goal will be up and good. Yeah. Quick highlights here, guys. We're not going to show every single scoring drive. Just a, just a couple of big plays here is what we want you guys oh, to see in somebody this bowl do game. Please. Michael Penix Jr. going to get sacked for two yards. Going to lead to a second down and 12. Let's see if Indiana can pull some strings out to get this move in the chains here. Oh, no. Penix oh, fires no. it deep. That's going to be incomplete, but just barely. A good throw, good route. Nonetheless, just to get the foot down. We're going to go for it deep here again, and it's almost picked off. It's Darcel Reed with the deflection, and that's going to settle for another, no, oh, whoa, another field goal here. They, they don't go for it. They punt it. So we'll jump ahead here, guys. 52 seconds left in the second quarter, and Penix Jr. in Indiana again marching. And we've got A.J. Barner with the catch for 15 yards. Penix Jr. got hit hard here. It's going to set up the first down and 10 situation. Let's jump ahead. Second and eight. Pass going to be incomplete. Almost picked off again. Third down and eight here. 32 seconds in the second quarter. They're going to go with a draw. So very, very conservative play call here. They almost got the first down with Holloman here, but they will settle for a field goal and they will tie the ball game up. Going into the second half, 13 all. I don't like that play call. I don't I'm either. Go out on the limb. I don't like this play call, but let's see if it works. Just shy of the yard gain, Calypso goes down. Are you feeling another field goal here? Yeah, it's 16-13. Indiana slinging it across the middle, and DJ Matthews Jr. is hauled down. So, still with the lead for the Alpacas. Third and ten, bringing a blitz. Just a lot of gutsy, I wouldn't even say gutsy, maybe just some stupid throws by our quarterbacks here. Well, you have another field goal attempt for Schwartzlander. He's made three. Got it. He will convert. No. Oh, he missed? Missed. What? Just barely. I forgot the highlight, guys. He missed the field goal. So 16-13 still. Indiana now charging late here in the third quarter. Third down and 14, actually. And the big blitz coming. That will be Prince Ebo. With the sack, he's got one that's two tackles for losses for him today in the game. He's having himself a nice one here in this bowl game. First down and goal after Spencer Dockery makes some nice cuts, some nice moves just shy of the of the goal line. First down and goal and a touchdown throw here to Javon Swinton. Michael Penix Jr. finds his man here. His first touchdown of the game 
by the way. So it is now 20 to 16. Yeah, let's check out the score totals here. 276 to 203. It's 16 13 the first down. So Alpina needs some explosive plays here. Gransky throwing. Oh! Hits his man. He's going. Can he break one tackle? Oh, almost. If he he had the the strength there and the stiff arm, if he could have just stayed in bounds, so he had one man ball. to beat. Second down and three. They're bringing the blitz on the right side, but take a look at who's open. He plows through his man. That's Calypso Berryhill with the touchdown. Alpina back up on top, 23 to 20. And that's what we were talking about. Explosive plays, bad tackling equals touchdown. 6.23 left for Indiana, and some uh -oh. nice moves, slipping some more tackles. Jacoby Hewitt, legendary name, makes a big play. <laughs> Here's a big throw. Oh, can't get the foot down. Or the Alpaca, so Alpina probably going to give up the tie here. If Indiana can kick, it's going to be a tough field goal. But, you know, anything inside of 40 yards in this game is like automatic, so... First and ten. Big run. Oh, that is that is an absolutely huge run. Calypso, a 20-yarder there. He's got 77 on the game. First down and ten here. Gransky checking it down to his man here. That's Silvier Gold for 11. So they're, they're marching down the field. They are in good position here with less than three minutes. No! And what is that? Down at the one yard line. Calypso, you got to get in the end zone, That's man. That's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. That's probably the worst. Yes. But huh. they do punch it in. Fresh Martin takes care of it. The fresh legs off the bench. Chet Benke, I guess, didn't like the fact that uh, Calypso couldn't punch it in. Right. I mean, that was just, that's bad news. Third and three. Big throw. Waterbury with the, de the deflection. So we got 23-30. Alpina. Yeah, See if they can stop. shut them down here. Up by seven. 140. Penix looking around. Throwing one up. Oh, and then the deflection outside of the Alpina defender's hands and the wide receiver's hand. Look at that. The battle oh, and then, of course, the tip. Bench. And Alpina will win the Quick Lane Bowl. So congratulations to Chet Benke Jr. Yeah. It's a decent win. I mean, I mean you're playing a 6-6 six six Big Ten team. <laughs> Kransky uh, couldn't watch the play, but he knew what happened. He is the player of the game here. 234. He played fine. Is that something that's going to get the monkey off his back a little bit, you think, for next season? Um, It could be a launching pad. Yeah. But Alpina's going to lose some talent, so I do think the Mac should be wide open. They're going to have to come back forcefully, have some of these younger guys play up to the level that we know that they can. But, you know, I mean, he, he had 234-2 and two in this game, so maybe not... Like I said, not quite as much as you want to see. Calypso Bear Hill, he might be off to the NFL. They're going to need Fresh Martin, those guys to step up. But uh, we'll check it out. We're going to see some other bowl game action here. Ohio, and the only reason we're watching this one, Ohio's going to put their backup quarterback in, Bob Jacket. Yes, he's going to get his bowl game chance here at the Lending Tree Bowl. And the first pass is completed to Tyler Walton there. First and 10, a option play and jacket. Stretching the play out, right? Second down and one after a nine yard rush. Got some more option plays here for jacket. He's gonna take it himself, no flip, and lowers the shoulder. He's not afraid of contact. He gets 17 yards there. Two rushes for 26 for Bob Jacket. I'm looking at jacket and thinking, maybe Bailey Verlease wasn't the answer here. Maybe it was jacket all along. Ohio got a good one. Keegan Wilburn with the catch, first down and goal, and here comes Jacket with the flip, and he's some, he's got the smarts, man. You see that? He baited the defender just long enough, and we, we what do we got here, yeah. guys? Uh, yep, that's a football boy. Contemplating. <laughs> what are we doing They're here? So in the zone, we got an interception. Ohio taking it inside, inside the thirty. It's Jamison Collier. So Jacket set up again, third and seven. That's Ooh. Dangerous. Yeah, that's the, that ball's got to get a little bit more zip on it here, Bob. You can't have that happen. You can't get you can't get another turnover here. Oh, but here's a it. deep oh. bomb, nowhere in the vicinity of the receiver. You know, when you see that read, a lot of times they're open mm -hmm. because the safety is not over there. But it's definitely not open. Definitely not an accurate throw. First and goal for Jacket. 
Can he get the touchdown? They're going to give it to him. That's Tyler Watson, his favorite target. Jacket 83 and a touchdown here. You know, not a lot of yards, oh, but the com cap. the completion percentage is good. 13 of 16 here today, and Jacket's got it going, man. I mean, some contested throws right there, but he's, he's fitting it in there. First down and 10 in the uh -oh. fourth quarter, and oh, that, has, that might be the backbreaker here, but we've got the wide receiver chasing, trailing his man that he was throwing there to. Kenneth Harris is going to get the pick. Six. This is that kind of game on the ball picking where you read it and you're like, oh, oh, Ohio's starting quarterbacks out. They got to play a true freshman. They're not going to win. And then you watch the whole game and you're like, Arkansas State, please, please take the lead. And this is maybe where they can finish them. But Ohio is moving the ball again. So Jacket might score the upset here. They're going to hand the ball off. There's all, a, all, they need, all they need is a field goal here. But they got 22 seconds. They got two timeouts. They're not calling any. Second and five. They're going to run the ball up the middle. That's a first down. Now just drain the clock and kick the field goal, right? No, they won't. They will decide to run it again. Get it just a little bit closer. Are they going to call a timeout here? No, they're not. There's no timeout being called here. So they hustle up to the line. Three seconds to go. Oh, Jacket looks to his left. He fires. Touchdown. <laughs> Tyler Walton with the touchdown, the toe tap grab. Wow, and what a throw. It had to be there. What a catch to help your freshman quarterback somebody, out. Somebody get Frank Solich out of retirement, so he would be on the ball enough. She's like, oh, we got a timeout. Let's call it. But, you know, whatever. Maybe the freshman quarterback, he wasn't looking over there to the sidelines. Like, what, I, I don't know if he didn't know the situation, but he lucked out. Yeah. You know, he I've always thought here. Ohio was cool. They are cool. Ohio Bobcats. I, I look at them and I, I watch them and I'm like, you know what? I, I want to do a solo dynasty with them. Now, Ohio Bobcats, <laughs> like, they are, they should be the flagship university for the state of Ohio. They are Ohio University. Yeah, why? Usually, the, Ohio, usually the states are like the B school. Right, so why? What, what happened? Who decided who made Ohio State king? Right. Who said, who said Ohio University? No, you're going to Athens. I don't know, man. You're not going to be our flagship. Who, who decided that? I don't know. Anyway, we are going to see a one of those bowl games where you got like the 6-6 six and six versus the 7-5 team. Two teams that probably shouldn't be in a bowl game. But since ESPN decides bowl games get viewership and add money, we're going we're gonna to play this game. It's a pretty oh. cool matchup. You got Akron San Jose State. We got the two Patreon running backs, Lucian Jericho and Charles Pennyway out this, of Vermont. This is the one of the first, actually, well, no, we saw him against you, but take a look at this vicious stiff arm by Jericho here. That's nice to see. And then we've got the RB2 checking in. That's Charles Hemingway. So we've got one that's the Thunder and one that's the Lightning. Can you guess which ones are which? I'm guessing Hemingway. You know, we did okay against Hemingway. We kept him in check a little bit, but, you know... Yeah, I do think he is more like a ground and pound guy. Jericho seems to be like the, the big play back, but he gets bottled up here by John Brown. So we got a punt, and Jericho's actually taking punts and kickoffs yeah, as well. So here he is, and uh, he's making people miss all over the place, and he busts off this tackle. Gets that's a huge return. He's Marshawn Lynch. A 29-yard return here, and there's a pass going to be completed, and that's a touchdown to oh. Kanata Mumpfield. Yeah, we gotta show the touchdown. I don't like Kanata Mumfield. He he's been tough to cover for like here on in the series. Here comes Jericho here to the right side off the shotgun and ooh, that's a big hit. But ten yards, nonetheless. Jericho's got six for forty-one. This Akron team might be a little scary. I think they might be. I think I would agree with that. Here's a second and five, and Jericho busting off one tackle. Man, he you just can't tackle him on the first hit. No, and we got third and six. Another screen. Back to Jericho, he's going to get hauled down there. So, could be a field goal situation coming up here. 13 nothing. We get a so oh, strip sack. Big and play right here coming over. And take a look. That is a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And Akron is just Bubba. Bubba? Well, I didn't even notice this in the edit. That's hilarious. Good play, Bubba. <laughs> but it's 20 it's nothing, guys. Here in the second half of the game, third Mac. quarter. Yeah, the Mac is just... Killing their competition. Oh, he's so got far. speed. He's got wheels. Uh oh. Number 18. Got the angle. Got to catch. Oh, no. You got to catch that man. Jamar Simpson with the touchdown. That hurts. Should have been bottled up. 
I feel like down the sideline, you had, had the angle, had the speed. Just no tackle. Ugh, that hurts, man. All right, so Akron, you're up by 13 points. Time to get Charles Hemingway involved, right? So get that pound on. Yeah. Get the ground and pound game on. So he does check in for Jericho here late in this ball game and take a look he's got some wheels too so go. don't let's not dismiss charles hemingway's speed he's got four rushes for 35 and you know the blockers that's maybe pretty they, much gonna do it maybe the offensive linemen they just like jericho more maybe hemingway is not a good locker room guy oh and they gosh. don't want to block for him I, who oh, knows what goes on, on in the akron locker room you're gonna stir that narrative all you're, i know is that jericho rips off big runs and hemingway not yet other than like that one just saying. Well, we'll get the final line score let's, here. For yeah, our, let's see for the box for our boys. I, I mean, it's 26 7, second half of the game. I'm, and I'm speculating. They're icing the game out. But. How about 125 yards for San Jose State? Good job. <laughs> Good job, boys. <laughs> Terrible. Irons 19 to 26. We've got. Okay, uh, well, you got a higher yards for carry. So there you go. My theory is, ho is Boulder Dash. Bollocks. Hogwash. As I would like to say. Ooh, All right. New so Year's six game. We have moved. Obviously, we, you know. We've got the two user teams here, of course, Alpina, Ohio Western. Didn't want to show them back to back because I wanted to go in a little bit of a timeline kind of perspective, kind of kind of feel for that. But we have a New Year's Six game here. Ohio Western 11 and 2 against 12 and 1 Boston College, one of my favorite schools. I got a good feeling about Boston College this year. You mean in, in real, real life? life yeah. yeah, yeah, with uh Phil Yurkovich, Jeff Halfley. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, um, the ACC is, is soft. So you can Caden Rocket, Caden Walchak beat Phil Yurkovich out. You know oh. the Road to Glory series. That, Everybody remembers Caden Walchak. That d didn't really uh, finish out. What's, he doing? What's Walchak doing these days? Caden Walchak. Oh, yeah. Get it so, right. <laughs> Third and nine here, and we got Tavian Leaf just busting off tacklers. He's going to get about the 49-yard line. But of course, with big plays, you got to be worried about holding calls or anything but we do have a face mask so thank you jason thank you for that we'll, we'll take yeah, that so here you get, you get the matchup here between two red birds <laughs> I like that matchup. nice broken tackle there can he get to the edge he can that's a touchdown for louis dude did you, did you see that run yeah i, I did did you see it? Because you were on your phone. I had to take, take over. Look, he like baited the guy to come over, bounced off, then stiff-armed, shrugged it off. That's amazing. So Louis big Savage. Time. Big time. Is he healthy? Hell yeah. Undoubtedly. Yeah. So 7 nothing here. We got 440. Boston College with 5 wide. Oh, going down. That's... I don't know if it's Yurkovic or Jerkovic. Oh, it's Yurkovic. Yurkovic. Yep. Daniel Mayberry here with the sack, and then that's going to lead to a field goal for Boston College. This is a big game for Ohio Western. Let's not, like, I mean, we need to focus on that real quick. This is a huge game for the program. Now that they just got that monkey off their back, they broke the curse, so to speak, against Alpena here in year two. Uh, if they can beat a Boston College team that's got one loss that might have been in the mix for the... The playoff. We didn't implement the playoff here, but you know they were in the mix. Let's oh. talk about that. They were in the mix. East of Buchanan. Got to step up in this game, but he's now three of four with a pick. This is a throw that you absolutely cannot make. Now you've given this 12 and one team, a top 10 team, another shot here. You got to really hope that your defense comes through. Yurkovich goes down, and that is Ronaldo Rojas, who had a huge game in that MAC championship against Alpina. Lucky number 13. Just like a freaking shot missile. out of a cannon. Yep, a missile just headed on in there. Third down and 12. Yurkovich dropping back. He's got the pass completed, but they'll be short. As Jelani Galloway only gets seven. It's another good tackling job by Ohio Western's defense. Seven to six game here. As the end of the first quarter is winding down, that's going to be completed to Tavian Leaf, one of Ohio Western's better wide receivers in that core. Second and five, Buchanan, good protection. Fires up the middle, that's a touchdown. Bobby Brubaker, another another great wide receiver here for the Ospreys. They are now up 14 to six. Bobby B. Like, look, the ball was out way before Brubaker even looked. He looked real late. That's a great catch. Good throw, but great catch, but oh! Oh, that's a pick six. 
A pick six is just so easy. It's so easy. Thanks, Phil. An NFL throw. DC Iafonte with the pick. And now 21 to 7 in the Orange Bowl. Ohio West are making a statement here. They're this not just Matt Good. This is much better than the 2014 Orange Bowl. Northern Illinois. Played okay, but they couldn't they couldn't go forward. They didn't Did they play Florida offense. State? They lost to Florida State. Yep, I remember that. But they 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 only lost by like eleven or something. Yeah, know. it wasn't it wasn't bad. 15? I don't know what it was. Uh, Louis Savage down at the one yard line. God dang it. That Savage needs to pound that in here. So we'll see if they go for it here. Nope, they'll just take the field goal. Take the points. 24 to 6 will be your score as we wind some time down in the second quarter. Let's jump ahead here to about a minute 53. Boston College threatening. They're driving. First and 10. Yurkovich bounces off the tackler, makes a cut, and he's into the end zone. Wow. Former Notre Dame commitment, Phil Yurkovich. No, I didn't just make that, miss that tackle. Come on, man. You know what was funny about the Caden Walchek thing? I had no idea that Phil Yurkovich was a former Notre Dame guy. Caden Walchek was also a former Notre Dame guy. Wow, I, you know, I, I think, think there's private Catholics. Cool. There's something. Well, there's something. Uh, maybe I knew it in the in like the background, like I, I'd heard about it or something, and it just stuck. You ever have that happen to you? Possibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, guys in the comment section, you, you help me out here. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're saying. It's like subliminal. Yes. You're not aware of it, but you have heard it's of background it. Background noise. All right, so eight minutes and 20 seconds time of possession here. 740 for Boston College. Look at the rushing yards. The one Both have a one turnover each. The one difference is the passing yardage. And it's coming down to a Buchanan Yurkovich battle. And down by 14. Yurkovich has got to be the man to step up here and match Easton Buchanan. Buchanan, of course, wants to separate himself in the second half here. And after that possession for Boston College, it looks like Ohio Western has all the momentum right now. Mm, I don't know. They get a defensive stop here. Is this field goal territory? Nope. But we get uh, fourth quarter here, seven minutes left to go. Buchanan with the football, oh, and he throws no. a pick. And this should set... Oh, here, what are you dude. doing? End zone's that way. Okay. He forgot which way to go. Uh, like, wait, wait, he didn't because that could have been really bad. If you're an offensive player playing on defense, like, you know, how that... Like, you get all mixed, mixed up sometimes. But here's Leando Dyson just absolutely destroying Yurkovich there on the sideline. Big hit, hoping for a fumble, but, man. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. So maybe I spoke too soon. Pat Garwo the third with a touchdown, and now 27 to 20. Early, still in the fourth quarter, Ohio Western needs a score badly to stave off this little mini comeback by BC. Yeah, I mean they're, they're making it dicey here. Second and ten, out of the I formation. Go. It's gonna be Louis Savage gets Go. a block. Maybe can't quite get that last block to spring him loose, but he gets the first down. So he's got 6.2. Yards per carry today, so pretty solid performance for him. And then a strike up the middle. Ohio Western in business now. Bryson Pine. It's a good throw. They should be able to run some game. Yeah. Yep, and that's the, exactly the strategy they're deploying here. About two seconds on the play clock. And oh, oh my, is dead. he okay? He does get up. So great job here by Buchanan to stay in the ball game. At third and two, they're going to run the option play. And of course, BC calls a timeout here with two minutes. Field goal will be up and good. They were hoping for a block there, but you know, BC's not dead yet either. A quick score, like like literally a quick score. You got two timeouts. You got to use them wisely. On defense, they do get the ball here. They're on seven, support. and you, you got to you got to go. You got to go now. You wasted about 20 seconds. Fourth and six. Not a good play call, in my opinion, to go lateral there. You need to go. You need to go vertical, big time. They do here on this throw on fourth down. You have to. Jelani Galloway with the catch, resetting the downs here. First and ten. Minute two. Yurkovich fires it deep to the sideline. Got it. Jalen Gill. 58 seconds. Yurkovich. Still under a minute, so Ohio Western feeling good here. Lewis Bond. Bond. Man, they've Lewis Bond. <laughs> they've killed a minute here. Gotta go. Deep bomb to the end zone. Incomplete. Adarius Myers with the deflection. 49 seconds. 
Alright, second and ten. Another chance here. And uh, it's going to be a little short. Zay Flowers for ten. 44 seconds left to go. Still time's winding here. Always oh, looks open. Oh! And we get the INT. So Ohio Western does end up sealing this deal finally. And look who it is. It's none other than Ronaldo Rojas with oh. the interception. He got the two feet in too. He's been a force lately. So I you got to give him some credit. So if you're keeping score at home, guys, Ohio Western in the series, one New Year's Six victory, Alpina, nothing. Mm -hmm. Ohio West, I'm telling you, Ohio Western is the sleeper program in this series here. Well, I mean, who knows? They could just take over what Alpina was supposed to be. But recruiting-wise, Alpina has been outpacing them a little bit. So, yep. well, you know, maybe this isn't a sea change, but it's something to build on for your little Ospreys. Wow, my little Ospreys. Thanks. <laughs> well, they're going to get to uh, dine on some oranges tonight. The, well, no, I mean, this is this is big time for this program. Now you can take this into your recruiting battles and your recruiting pitches that, hey, we, you know, we have if oranges. You're, if you're <laughs> we got some oranges. We got leftover oranges. You want any? <laughs> we got some marmalade. We can't eat them all. Two turnovers each for each squad here, but Buchanan 16 to 27. Savage just missed out on the 100 yard mark there, but really good uh, job by the Ospreys oh and that defense, God. especially. What now, is this? this is going to be a real quick cut highlight reel here for the national championship game. We didn't decide to do the playoff because I think we mentioned it before, and I'll get to this pick here by Michigan State, but I did want to mention this is the reason why we didn't do the playoff is because we got some goofy things happening in this dynasty file if you know with the mod you could give coastal carolina a championship that they didn't even deserve so you just when you're replacing teams this is and doing all that this is the nat this is the natty here iowa, to Alabama. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Oh, iowa beat them okay yep michigan state iowa <laughs> <laughs> i love it man this is the big 10 championship right here interesting right? that state who won the natty last season what is going on with is this number crowd? two msu is like I don't know. They're, They're like just elite. Now. Well, they got tough coming. I'm, I'm, I'm scared <laughs> about the future. Peyton Thorne, incomplete. You know, both in this series and in reality, because I mean, if Mel Tucker, if he outpaces Michigan, if he's coming, be, it's gonna be if, if, if he's coming. If Tuck, if Tuck, Tuck is actually coming, yeah. Well, I mean, so far it looks like he might be. Nine to six. We got a classic Big Ten matchup here in Arizona, and you know it doesn't matter where the Big Ten is anymore. You could be in Los Angeles, and it's the Big Ten. That's, so that's true. You could be in freaking yeah California, and the yeah. Big Ten has no geographical you can't pin it down. bond. It's a, no, it's a it's a bind. It's an idea. The Big Ten is an idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Ten is a concept. <laughs> Oh, 12 well, to it's, six. it's 12 to 6. This has been a barn burner to say the least, man. Iowa, Michigan State, you mentioned it. Big Ten oh, football. Oh, touchdown. But finally, we have Nico. a huge, huge play here. 41 yards. Spencer Petrus in the national title game. Shades of Ricky Stanzi. <laughs> what is this cornerback doing, dude? You got to get back. I mean, honestly, I'm actually rooting for Iowa. I hate Michigan State that much. I might be from the state. But I hate Michigan State. This would be nuts if Iowa won. I, I thought Michigan State won, but obviously I wasn't here when this game happened. So Third down and why? Because then the offense would be working? <laughs> Third down and 11. Peyton Thorne fires it deep. That's going to be intercepted. And the Iowa Hawkeyes. Looks like they're going to take care of business here. Pending if they can waste Michigan State's timeouts. They oh do. Oh, my God. And there you go. Kirk Ferentz is a national champion for the well, first time. You know, I have to say, if you're an Iowa fan, savor this moment because it will never happen in real life. But <laughs> savor this moment. Wow. I, I'm fine with Iowa. They just they got... I like Iowa. What Kirk Ferentz likes to do, I mean, it kind of puts a little bit of a ceiling on... Did you know that he's from doing? Royal Oak, Michigan? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hayden Fry in the back of life. He has won two Big Ten championships, right. but no national championships. Yeah. They beat Georgia Tech in the Orange Bowl one year. So well, they've had a little bit of success. Man. They've been pretty good lately. I mean, they've had like two 10-win yeah. seasons. I hope they do well in real life. That touchdown to 
Tim Bricani, and so they won under. They won with under 200 yards of offense. <laughs> the, these defenses were so good, guys. I can put full disclosure here. I can put running back ability, passing, up to 80, and defense next to nothing, and they they just don't do anything with sliders. I don't know. I, I can't control it. I can only do so much for for the CPU to not destroy itself. All right. Well, we have some award winners. Ooh, Othello double day. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. We knew that. Had a great season for Othello. Buchanan, Barry Hill also very good as well. So just checking, checking out some of our Mac yeah. situation. Northern Illinois, Miami gets some wins. So that's good for the conference. I do love NC State next year in real life. I think they're going to big time sleeper. But. Akron, Ohio, they get some wins. I think so far they, oh, the Mac is undefeated. The Mac just cleaned up in bowl games, except, oh, except for Western. Western and Toledo. Now they've lost ah. two games in their bowl season. So we were doing well up until this point. Arkansas and Alabama went 52 points each on their opponent, but Washington got shut out. Oh, Central. They dropped the ball 52 27. A little overpowered in that one. Yeah. Top 25 at the end of the season. We've got Iowa still number one at after winning the Natty. Alabama goes from three to two as Michigan State went from two now to six as they dropped uh, the, the loss there in the national championship game. But back-to-back -back Natty appearances for Michigan State, something to worry about. I think Ohio about. Western should be ranked over Alpena at this point. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> that's tough, man. Mm -hmm. They just beat them head-to-head. -head. The, the, the voters are tough, man. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Leave a like if you like this thing. We are now moving towards the offseason for season number three. Forms have been sent to all of my patrons, and if you'd like to become a patron, uh, please consider doing so. You get prospects, uh, different donation amounts for each month, uh, equate to a different level of a uh, player that's in any of my series that I'm running here, whether it's college football, MLB The Show, Madden eventually, doesn't matter. Any series that I do always has custom players, so depending on your donation amount, you will get either a better player the more you donate, so that's how that, that works. But those forms have been sent off to you guys, so make sure you're checking your inboxes so we can get those set up, because we're gonna actually start moving a little faster with this series, trying to get to, uh, we're in year three now, we're still winless out here in Southern Michigan, and I don't know how long this is actually gonna take. We're Better gonna go to year six, man. Yeah, we're gonna go as long gonna, as we possibly not can. Win a game until year six. Oh, get out of here! I think if, Risby's gonna get fired. If, What's gonna happen if he goes oh for three years? I mean, can you can you keep him around? What are you gonna tell the boosters? We're not gonna do that. There's no way. If we did, if we go, if we go, if we don't go, we go winless in six seasons. <laughs> I will stop <laughs> this. No, I'm saying if, if you get a coach. Remember Ellis Johnson takes nope. takes over Southern Miss one year, and they go from like six and six, fire the coach to like zero and twelve. You know what they did to him the next year? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Destroyed. Now, the fact that you have a new program, you're still getting your your feelers out there. If we go winless three years in a row, I don't think there's any way that could even be justified to retain <laughs> him. At least I have my two wins. I will savor those and hold mm -hmm. on to them. Well, for Bear Kegger. we're gonna get four wins next season. Oh man, yeah, that's big. We'll, we'll get we'll get some pro some progress, some progression with our players, and yeah, I, I, that's my goal. Four wins. Oh, watch out, Ball State. He's coming for you. <laughs> I'm sure Ball State's scared. Uh, nothing else really to cover here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the bowl game action, and of course, um, like I mentioned, Patreon Patreon donors have their uh, their forms to fill out for players. Um, and then we'll give you guys a recruiting update, some off-season updates, and we'll be ready for season three to uh, to kick off here probably in the next couple of weeks. So that's it. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Um, I said my piece. All right. Well, I got guys. My insults in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Leave a like if you like this thing. We'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching and peace.